Today, we are going to go over the question form of the present simple verb, to be. You will need a highlighter and a note-taking sheet for today's lesson. Remember, we use the correct form of the verb to be in a question to show that we exist. It does not show any actions. Examples are, are you a student? Is Cynthia a professor? Are you tired? When the verb to be is used for this reason, no other verb is used. An example of an information question is shown as a WH question, such as, Why am I sad today? In this example, there is no other verb. We therefore need to use the correct form of to be, which is, I am. Because it is a question, the order of the words is, am I? To answer this question, you would say something like, because I failed my exam. Remember to answer with the correct form of the verb to be. Let's look at another example. I don't know him. Who is he? We use he is, but change the order of the words. This becomes is he because it is a question. To answer this question, another person might say, He is my cousin. He is a doctor. Or, He is my friend. Remember to use the correct verb to represent the pronoun. Even if we replace the pronoun with a proper noun like, Who is Michael? The answer might be, he is a doctor, or Michael is a doctor. Since Michael and he are singular, the form is agrees with these nouns. The same is true for she, Sally, or it, Ka. All of these are singular, so they need the correct form of the verb to be which is, is, in a question when there are no other verbs present. For nouns and pronouns such as we, they, and you, and plural nouns such as the boys, the cars, Peter and Sally, Abdullah's children, we need to use the form are. For example, where are Peter and Sally? Are they here? No, they are not here. They are at the mall. As you can see in this example, we are talking about more than one person. Therefore, we need to use the form are. As it is a question, the word order changes again and becomes, are they? We have just reviewed WH questions that need information in the answers, not just simple yes or no answers. Let's now talk about questions that need a yes or no answer. For example, where are you? Are you at home? Your answer might be, no, I am not, or, no, I'm not. I am at the market. In the question, we use are because it is the correct verb form for you. And in the answer, we use am because it is the correct verb form for I. Another example of using the verb to be in a yes or no question is 
Is she at school? Notice that the verb to be, which is is, starts the sentence, and the subject she follows. Is is the correct form for she. The answer could be either yes, she is, or no, she isn't. An example of the plural verb to be in a question is, Are the children in the garden? I can't see them. The answer would be either, yes, they are, or no, they aren't. The children is the same as they. Therefore, we need to use the plural form are. Let's practice a few questions. You will need your note-taking sheet and a pen to correct the questions. Sorry, be I late? What is the mistake in this question? What is the correct form of to be that goes with I? It should be am, so the question should be, am I late? How would you answer this? Choose the correct answer. The correct answer should be, yes, you are, because are is the correct form of the verb to be for you. Let's try another question. Am Ruth a teacher? What is wrong with this question? That's right. Am is not the correct form of to be for the singular noun she. It should be is. The correct question is, is Ruth a teacher? Now, choose the correct answer to this question. Yes, she are a teacher. Yes, Ruth is a teacher. The correct answer is, yes, Ruth is a teacher, because Ruth is singular. That is all for today. Remember to re-watch this video as many times as you like. Thanks for watching and good luck.